I use uh, lasers to look at art conservation. I like to think of it as laser chemistry for art conservation because I really feel that that gives people a, an idea of all the really cool points. You know, you've got lasers, you've got chemistry, you've got art, um, and giving a sense of what I actually do. So more specifically, I use super fast pulse lasers to look at the way certain molecules degrade in light. So if you imagine you have some famous painting, a beautiful Vermeer, the girl with the pearl earring maybe, wouldn't it be terrible if all the red and all the pink and all the blush in her cheeks and in her lips just drained all out of the painting and you were left with this rather ill-looking young woman? And that's what happens to many molecules when you put them in light in art. And obviously the way for museums to resolve this problem is to take the painting and put it in a dark room and never show it to anyone. The molecules that are used in these paintings that I'm studying are red ones that are really, really famous. They've been used for thousands of years. There's madder, carmine, cochineal, you might have heard of some of them as cochineal is the bug juice that is used to flavour food these days. Anyway, those ones are famous for fading. They're really, really famous for it. And I want to use the lasers to look at exactly how the interaction between the molecule and the light occurs that's making them so vulnerable so that maybe we can give museums better guidelines about the certain vulnerabilities that mean that they should you know, take special care of this painting, maybe change this aspect of the painting's environment to protect it better without having to just shove it in a drawer and never let anyone see it.